Hey everybody and welcome back to Crafting Me Easy. If you're interested to see how I made this travel tic-tac-toe game, stand by. So the items you will need for this project will include these cubes and you can get these wood craft cubes from the Dollar Tree. You'll also need this type of burlap bag. You can purchase this from Amazon. I will have it listed in the description box below. You'll need some heat transfer vinyl, some regular 651 vinyl, um, transfer tape, a weeding tool to weed out your design, and a um, program that allows you to cut out vinyl and HTV. I will be using Cricut Design Space. I believe that is all that you'll need for this project. If I miss anything, I will definitely put it in the description box below. All right, with that said, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is measure your bag. My bag is a four by five, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a square and measure it out to four by five. And then on the top of the bag, there is a little space where the drawstring is. So just to help remind you, you to not make your image or anything um, over that line, I'm just going to get a score line there and I'm going to put it about a half an inch onto the template just at the top just to remind me that I cannot go above that as far as my image is concerned All right so I'm just saying that there and then I'm going to go ahead and get some text and you can put text on your on your um bag if you want to you don't necessarily have to but I decided to put tic-tac-toe and I'm just going to use um, some basic font to do that I can't remember which font I used um, but it'll be up there on the screen it was some kind of whimsical uh, font and I can't really see what it says something brown I'm not sure but <laughs> I'll go ahead and uh, highlight the letters for you so you can see it on the template I'm just going to move it down a little bit the exact measurements that I did the letters in is on the screen, but I will go ahead and put it in the description box below because as I'm doing this voiceover, I can't really see um, the measurements. I did specify it in the actual audio version. However, it was a lot going on um, in my home, like the renovations that they're doing on my first level. So I didn't want y'all to endure what I had to endure during this first recording. The bang, 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 the singing, the, it was a lot. They, <laughs> the workers were doing a lot. So I just wanted to, you know, bring it to you calmly with peaceful noise reduction in the background. So right now I'm doing my lines. And like I said, I can't really see the screen where it has the exact measurements for the lines but um, I will put it in a description box below so you can measure your lines out correctly you're going to have four of them I'm just bringing it across to um, see how it fits on the bag it is a little too long so I'm going to go ahead and make it smaller and then I'm putting it back on the bag just the or the template um, of the quote unquote bag and then just making it a little bit smaller and then I do believe I made my words a little bit smaller because they just seem to overpower the bag a little bit too much. So I just made those a little bit smaller. There you go. Yep. And um, like I said, I will have the exact measurements down in the description box below because I'll just look back in Cricut and see um, what they exactly were. Um, but I'm just measuring that out and that looks good to me. So then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that line. So you just, like I said, you just need four um, lines and I'm showing you what the measurements are. So on your screen, you should see exactly what they are, but if for any reason you can't, they will be in the description box below. 
All right, and so I'm going to duplicate the lines because there's no need to measure out three other lines. Just go ahead and hit that duplicate button. And then you're going to start forming your board. So you're just going to put two vertically, two horizontally, two horizontal, hmm, horizontally. I <laughs> cannot get that out. Um, and you're just going to turn it to the, yep. And then you're just going to place them the way you want your board to look or a normal tic-tac-toe board. I was having difficulties with the align button. Like I could not, the dis, um, distribute button was not working for me unless I highlighted all four. And then it still wasn't quite doing what I wanted it to do. So what I ended up doing, and you'll see right here where it, it kind of just um, centers it vertically. Like they put the two lines together and that's not what I wanted. Um, so what I ended up doing is just taking one line and using the shift key, holding the shift key down and just moving the other line up. You'll see um, that in a second, I think. Because I tried to use the buttons a couple times and you see my distribute button is not highlighted unless I do all four. And I don't remember that being an issue before so I don't know maybe I was doing something wrong if you know what I was doing wrong please put it down in the description box because I cannot figure it out and I know it's something simple because I've done it before but for some reason I just cannot remember what it is but anyway I just held down the shift key and moved the line up so it was um even with the other line and then I did the same with the lines going horizontally all right all right so once i got the lines the way i wanted them to be i highlighted all four of them and i grouped them and then i hit the i wanted to make sure how they look on the um, template and then i went and he, uh, welded them together so you didn't see any of the um heat transfer linking it up together so it just looks seamless so I um, after I did that I went ahead and just um, highlighted it so I could see it better on the template and then I started to work on the um, X's and O's so the measurement for the cube the little square I believe is 0.56 inches and that's written on the bag so all I did was just go to the top you make sure you unlock your lock and then type in um, 0.56 and you just do it on both sides and it'll make a cute little square and then you just go to your text and make sure you lock that um, shape because if you move it your measurement is all off then I just went to the text and typed in an X. And then I scaled that down to size so it would fit on our cube. And so I just made it a little bit smaller so it would fit nice and neatly. I moved that off of the cube and then I um, went to the text box again and made a O. And you just repeat the same steps. You just measure it down so it fits nicely on the cube. And then you will duplicate the X and the O five times. So you'll have five X's and five O's. Now you only actually need nine to play the game, but it's always good to have a little extra. And like I said at the end, if you are putting these on your site or in your business, make two so have six um x's and six o's so in case you know if one gets lost or two gets lost they always have the um the exact amount of pieces to play the game or whatever so it's just a little extra incentive for your um customer but at any rate once that's all done you just hit make it and you're ready to cut
right so you're going to grab your pack of cubes you're going to open them up and then you are going to count out 10 of them because you only need 10 for this project if you're doing any extras as suggested you'll count out the extra ones that you're doing but for this one i'm just using 10. Um, they felt a little rough so i just got my sand block and um sand it off one side of the square just so my vinyl could adhere a little bit better now if you wanted to you can put your x's and o's on all four sides um, that's totally up to you i just chose to do one side you can also paint your cubes if you want to um, I chose not to because I kind of like the natural color because they match the bag. But it's kind of up to you on how you want your design to look and how you want to um, present it in your company. Um, I just wanted it to look natural and I just wanted one side of the cube to have um, the X and the O on there. But again, if you want to, you can do that. You can put it on all four sides. But just remember that you'll need to cut out extra X's and extra O's. All right, so I was just seeing if my X would fit on the cube and let me tell you it fit exactly. <laughs> so there was not a lot of room for it to uh, miss. Um, so now I'm just going ahead and getting my tic-tac-toe and my board. You don't necessarily have to cut the words off if you chose to put words on there, but mine was at the bottom of the um, board. So if I did it the other way, it would have been upside down. So I just ended up cutting it off and putting it on separately. Um, well, not putting it, not pressing it separately, just laying it down separately. Um, but if you make sure that your words are on top, then you don't have to cut it or anything like that. Um, make sure you have a board underneath of your um, project or if you don't have like a pad like I have, um, you can purchase them off of Amazon or you can um, just use a rolled up towel. Um, I am using my easy, my Cricut Easy Press for this project since it is small and I'm just going to um, press it for the amount of time that my heat transfer vinyl states, which is 20 seconds and then I'll be back. So that is nicely pressed and then you'll just go ahead and remove the protective cover. Oh, that. oh man, I hate when I do that. I did it for both sides. All right, let me go ahead and cut that. Make sure that your plastic is nowhere near the other part where you're going to um, Press because you see, like I just did, I accidentally pressed it onto the plastic, so I'm just gonna have to cut that a little bit, or you can pull it off, but I just don't feel like I'm going through the trouble. There we go, I just cut it off. All right, but make sure when you do press it and you have two things that you cut close to the other edge so you don't um, accidentally press the vinyl onto the other plastic. All right. So I'm actually going to have to press that a little bit more because of that. So I'm going to press that top. Just the top part. There we go. Okay. All right, let's do that again, y'all. <laughs> go ahead and take that off. All right. And now our bag is done. And then we just sit that to the side. Oh, that feels so smooth. This feels so soft. All right, and then you don't really need this anymore because the next one, like I said, you can use heat transfer vinyl onto the squares if you want to, but um, you don't necessarily have to. And then you'll just get your transfer tape, get your O's, and then you'll just.
just plop it onto the middle. Burnish it on there. And then you'll just do it for the rest of the letters. So I'm going to go ahead and speed through this. is all done as well now you can spray a clear um, coat of this on the letters to just kind of protect the vinyl from falling off but it shouldn't fall off because this is 651 vinyl and it should adhere to there very well um, so and then this is HTV so you don't have to protect this at all this is on here okay <laughs> and you're not washing it or anything like that so it shouldn't come off at, at any time or anything like that um, but that's pretty much it y'all. This is a quick little easy fun um, travel tic-tac-toe for the family and like I said you'll have an extra piece because you'll only use nine pieces but it's always good to have an extra piece just in case um, you know you're on the road and you lose one. So you could if you're selling these add two extra pieces so make 12 instead of the actual 10 so um, yeah so um, six x's six o's and put in there just in case especially if they're like traveling with it or whatever it's just you know for them it'll just be like a little extra incentive for the customer all right and then once you're done you put it all in the little baggie close the drawstring up and boom is ready to play again all right y'all so i hope y'all enjoyed this little tutorial on how to make a travel tic-tac-toe game um, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with the notification. What? Mm, look at me. I can't talk. <laughs> along with the notification bell to be notified when I drop new videos. And also, if you are not a part of my Facebook group, it is called Craft and Made Easy, same as my YouTube name. If you can go ahead and click into that Facebook group and post as much as you want to post, post all of your creations, post any questions you may have, and I will I will more than likely get to the questions in the Facebook group faster than I can on YouTube because sometimes YouTube doesn't show all the questions or the comments that you post, so I don't see all of them. So if you have a serious question or um, something about a project or a project that you're doing, and you don't see any response to the comments in the YouTube page, go ahead and put it on the Facebook page be, or just um, DM me on my business Instagram and I'll be able to answer your question there or email me. All that information will be in the description box. All right, y'all. I think that's all I have to say to y'all today. I hope y'all have a great day and until next time, peace.